In 2019, the San Diego County Office of Education was awarded the School Climate Transformation Grant, which included 11 small rural school districts in the county. As school climate plays a critical role in the success of students, the project focused on implementing a multi-tiered system of support framework to establish a safe and inclusive environment aligned to positive behavioral interventions and supports. Dehiza Elementary School was one of the school districts selected to participate in the project. This is their transformation story. So the school climate transformation grant was what launched um, the HESA into the movement of implementing MTSS throughout their school district. MTSS would be a kind of like a framework, kind of a multi-tiered framework for supporting behavior, social emotional learning, bringing in support for students no matter what level they're at, uh, behaviorally and academically. It looks different for different school sites. In some ways, it's empowering to make change and to incorporate new ideas and new philosophies to, to build a positive school climate. But in other ways, it's also been very confirming for the work that people have done for many years. And so the School Climate Transformation Grant is helping school districts to build upon the strengths that they already have and maybe do it in even more uh, new and better ways. When they say multi-tiered, they mean multi-tiered. So it's level one, level two, level three. So you have all types of tiers that are going to support your student no matter where they are. After completing district leadership training led by the San Diego County Office of Education, Dehiza Elementary established their team consisting of administrators, general and special education teachers, a school social worker, community partners, and parents. Together, they co-designed their multi-tiered system of support as a method to communicate, align, and fully integrate academic, behavioral, and social-emotional learning services for the benefit of all students. Once the leadership team was established, the stage was set to launch positive behavioral interventions and supports, commonly known as PBIS. So we started off by um, being really transparent. Where are we? Where do we want to go? What does that look like? We made sure to include everybody. Um, we started off with administrators and teachers, and we went all the way down to our cafeteria workers, to our bus drivers, and then we've extended it out to our community partners right off the bat. We wanted a little bit of everybody involved, and they were involved from the very beginning of to what is MTS has, why are we here, where do we want to go, and how are we going to get there. So we sent a survey to parents and teachers and students and we had them um, answer all the things um, for the school climate and how, how they felt things were going. And then we looked at the synergy data that teachers had been putting in over the last year or two um, on different behavior um, things that we were seeing, some negative behaviors we were seeing from the students and we, we looked at it and we saw what area were the most problems happening and we met as a team and we uh, just kind of tried to figure out how we can help alleviate those problems. We made a behavior uh, matrix, which is basically a poster that shows each location of the school and what the behavior expectations are at each specific location, which has been really helpful. So really seeing, okay, are we having issues at the lunch tables a lot? Are we having a lot of issues with the playground? Here are some things that our school specifically needs to work on in those locations, I think would be helpful. So really looking at the data. My role in working with Tahisa um, in the journey for MTSS has been as a community partner. So a lot of the students who attend Tahisa also attend um, the Saquon Band at the Kumeyaay Nation Learning Center down the street for after school tutoring. And so since we share a lot of the same students, I wanted to make sure that whatever behavior management programs were happening at the school were something that could be consistent down at the Learning Center. So we have three essential expectations to uh, be safe, be responsible, and be respectful. And that's kind of what we focus on every single day as far as student behavior. We ask them if we see something like they're not, you know, behaving in a certain way. We say, are you being safe? Are you being are kind? Are you being respectful? Things like that. So, um, and they all know the three expectations that we've come up with for MTSS. Since we had our matrix for being responsible, being respectful, and being safe, those three were one of the things that we said, what does being safe look like on a playground? 
What does being safe in the classroom look like? So we had to make sure that those tiers and that matrix was visible for everyone. So we went ahead and created posters and put them everywhere um, so that it was, it was clear to the students, to the parents, and especially to the staff of what we had created and uh, we wanted to implement. We actually took in some of the behavior expectations that were developed here at Dehisa during the MTSS team meetings and are now utilizing them at the Saquon Learning Center. So we have a bulletin board up on the wall when the students come in um, and it follows the same guidelines that Dehisa has about being safe, being responsible, and being respectful. And we rolled out those guidelines using the same timeline that Dehisa did. So as the students are learning them here at Dehisa, they were also going to our center right after school and seeing the same exact guidelines there. And we, we have seen how helpful that's been for the students because they aren't two completely different sets of guidelines um, because we know that when kids receive too many guidelines it can become confusing. Um, so they'll receive the ones here at school and then they come to the Saquon Learning Center and they're like, oh, I've seen that before. My teacher tells us the same thing at school. Sometimes we can think that, you know, they should already know how to behave in the hallway. They should already know what to do at the lunch tables and that is totally not the case. Students need that clear those clear expectations of what to do at each location of the school. And I've noticed that, you know, I haven't written that many write-ups this year. And I've noticed in the past, they were definitely, there was, there was a lot. <laughs> so those have decreased. I would also say that there's, for staff, I like how my coworker upstairs, she teaches the eighth grade and the seventh grade ELA and social studies. And whenever we do have some sort of maybe a behavior issue, we use the language with each other about, okay, is this gonna be a tier one, a tier two, a tier three type of behavior? So it, it's been nice to just have that common language. With MTSS, my hope is that our students, our community, our staff feel comfortable, they feel good um, here, and it feels like I mentioned before, a home, right? And that's where we'd like for them to kind of understand that they're safe, they can, be, they can show responsibility, and they can show respect. My hope is that the work that's being done right now with the grant is prompting uh, school districts to, to build out areas of their school climate that will last for many, many years. That it's not an initiative that comes and goes. That it's not just a cycle that lasts five years and then you don't see the results once the grant ends, but that the grant helps support school districts um, in their own journey and whatever that may look like, and that their journey concludes by having a sustainable system that allows them to continue on for years to come. Since implementing MTSS, I've seen the students come from school to the Learning Center down the street with much more positive attitudes. Um, there are more smiles on their faces. They seem happier to be at school um, and at the Learning Center. There's been more communication between myself and the teachers at Dehisa, which has really opened up a wonderful door for us to be able to almost text in the moment, like if there's an issue that comes up with a student in the class, we can address it right then and there, and then I can follow up with that student when they get to the Learning Center. MTSS is really broad, but MTSS brings together the academic, the behavior, and the social emotional. We want to look at the whole child. We don't want them to just grow academically, we want them to grow as a person, as a whole, and make them complete citizens. Thanks to the School Climate Transformation Grant, Dehisa plans to continue strengthening their MTSS and PBIS structures to ensure sustainability beyond the project period. To learn more about MTSS and PBIS, or other innovative initiatives, please email the Whole Child and Community Design Department at wccd.systems at sdcoe.net.